1,400 knives. This is like nothing compared to the entire batch. $7,500 later. And now we gotta figure out what the heck to do with them. So in this video, we're gonna go over <laughs> a lot of stuff. We're gonna go over how we're gonna sell these, strategies on which ones we're gonna sell first, why we're doing it that way, and we're gonna show actual sales of what we've made up to this point. It's been pretty crazy, so let's get into it. So the first thing for me is to sell the best stuff so that I can recoup my investment as quickly as possible. 7,500 bucks is no joke, especially since like I have very limited experience selling knives. I've sold some case knives before I bought a small collection at a garage sale and that has come to be very beneficial because I knew that case knives can average, you know, 40 bucks a piece, sometimes more, sometimes less. So I listed these 13 knives, two of them already sold. And then I have maybe five up for auction right now. Let's see how the auctions are doing. They're actually doing pretty well, like better than expected. The top one's at $86. Got one at 14, hopefully that goes up. And then the lady case uh, right here. This one appeared to be rare and I couldn't find the exact one. So that one's at a hundred bucks. So that's amazing. We've got the fire engine red at 20. And then I started a couple at higher bids cause I found some comps and felt that I didn't want to risk it on these ones. So that one starting bid at 70, nothing and no watches. So that probably won't sell. But the starting bid at 60 probably will since it has 13 watchers. And then the starting bid at 108 might sell because it has 11 watchers. So I guess I have, is that eight of them up for auction? Seven up for auction. So if you guys have watched me sell on eBay or, or even just look at my eBay store, I, I very rarely do auctions. I only do them on stuff like this. You know, stuff that I don't really know about and that could be worth more than I think. Stuff that I can't find good comps on. But here's the catch. The stuff has to have high demand. And case knives are super high demand. So they'll get the attention that they need. And they'll probably still go for good price. I do consider it to be a little more risky. But in this case, it also saves me time. Because I don't have to put in the research. If I start bids at 99 cents, uh, which is what I started doing. I think that for case knives, it'll still do well. And in some cases I might get more than what I would have asked. So that might be the strategy I use moving forward because it took me a while to like do the research on the ones that I put by it now. I sold two knives for 40 bucks a piece. Those were buy it nows. So those are the first two sales. We'll see how the rest goes. This really cool knife that I decided to keep. Look at this thing. That is incredible. Um, this one probably could be like 150 bucks because it seems like it's just quite rare from like the exotic case collection. Um, but yeah, uh, we're gonna see how this goes. I'll keep you guys posted and it's gonna be a lot of work to start selling a bunch of these knives. So the other brands that seem good are Remington and I know I've got Remingtons either in this box or in this box and then Buck. If you're, if you're seeing knives out in the wild, you know, Remington, Buck, and Case are kind of three brands that I'm noticing that you need to look for, be on the lookout. Uh, but this I'm excited to sell, this uh, display with three case knives. It's like an original store display. So that one could be massive. All of these in here are case. So I've got a lot of work to do, uh, but we'll see what happens. I'll tell you what, guys, I've been listing some of the case knives. Definitely taking my time on the listings because there are just some amazing knives. Like, look at that one. Like that's got to cross the hundred dollar barrier. I would say easily. I just listed this one. It's like pretty darn vintage. It's mother of pearl four dot like uh, has the flip top case as well, which seems to be pretty good. This one I'm excited about tobacco commemorative 1985. Let me open this up and show you. Look at that. So uh, I'm optimistic about these bringing up the average, um, but again, I am starting with the best and easiest stuff to list. And once I get through all of that, I really have no idea. So hopefully we can make back a good chunk of the money with these. I'll keep you posted on the sales as they happen and we'll go from there. So the knife saga con continues. I've listed a couple dozen case knives and thought we were done with box knives. And then I uncovered these. So these were chilling in the bottom of this box. And there you have it. So we've got, looks like six more kind of bigger ones in here. And then like a dozen more in here. 
box knives are good money they're easy to sell easy to research and i'm excited to get these listed the first of hopefully many hundred dollar knife sales 132 dollars on bids this rattlesnake case knife definitely be on the lookout for rattlesnake case knives are pretty consistently worth a good bit of money. And I got 66 bucks on bid for this one. So we are in the garage. It is just as cold as it was when we first brought <laughs> these in. Um, but we're, we're gonna go through some of these boxes. We literally haven't looked into many of them. This one apparently has 150 knives in it. So I think this will be a cool one to start. Um, yeah, like what even RCP? That's kinda cool. I yeah, like that Canada, one. like RCMP. it's like a Mountie. But a lot of these are unbranded. Yeah. Forest Master, or they're just various brands. Purina. What is this? Barlow. I've got. DE. Like Mac Tools. What is this? Definitely some cool ones. Just, yeah. I like Mac Tools. I could see that means something, but it's kind of basic. It's not good when your hands are shaky and you're dealing with knives. <laughs> it's like. Uh. Yeah, like a lot of these will need cleaning as well. Like this is, Craftsman, like yeah. this is gonna be a lot of, or this it, one has like a plate, like you could engrave your name or yeah. something. It like, feels like we're gonna need to do like a knife show. Yeah, like. To clear gonna, out a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Just put five bucks a knife, 10 bucks. I don't even know what a fair price is. Yeah, if, if you guys know about knives more than just the details of like, you know, good brands to look for. We, we kind of figured those out. But if there's any yeah. other just weird knife facts, please let us know in the comments. Because... Yeah, and tell us, like, if, if you went to a knife show, <laughs> what would be a fair price per knife on something on a box like this? Yeah, because our, our buy cost per knife is $5.33. Yep. So a lot of these aren't going to be worth that. <laughs> yep. That's but... why we got to carry some heavy weight on the first sales. Yeah. Let's see what else we got. We'll get them all spread out, and you guys will see the next clip of the boxes open like this. We got a couple of the other boxes out. This one is promising. Lots of box, Lots of box knives. There's even some buck knives in here. So this one we might take inside. Winchester. So I like that one. I kind of like this one. There's some interesting stuff in here like Gerber knives, a couple things in the box, and then there's like a Winchester one there. This one is kind of cool. There's this cool one. Like really cool design. I found a cool knife that I like. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so like some cool ones in there, but then like this one again is kind of underwhelming. It's like a lot of, a lot of rusty knives, a lot of plasticky. More of the Barlow. Yeah, just the yeah, feels lower weird. quality. Like this has a flashlight, so you can see what you're cutting. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. And then this one has some of the bigger knives, which honestly, like in case knives. Bigger knives are, it's a, it's not a good thing. So I, I don't know if some of these bigger ones could end up being good or if they'll kind of be a wash, but I feel like locally, those could be interesting. Yeah, let's, uh, I, I do want to dig more into these big, these big ones, but they're rusty. So let's hope we don't get tetanus. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know if you want to see us uh, selling knives at a local knife show. Yeah, what if we got a booth? If we did it. I know, that would that'd be, be interesting. That'd be cool. So if there's a knife that you see and you really want and you're able to <laughs> explain it very, very well, because again, we have like hundreds in each box, um, let us know if it's something really cool or um, like it, it brings back a memory or it is something collectible and, and you want it, hit us up and maybe we'll be able to figure something out. No promises at all, but- We're looking to I sell. Mean, yeah, we want these gone. <laughs> so we got about five or 600 knives here. We're gonna swap all of these boxes out for the rest of them over there and see if there's a lot of the same stuff. Again, we did not get a good look at these at all. Let's see all these in one go on the table. I'm gonna bring this box inside because that's the most interesting looking one. Cool. And uh, we'll put all these back on the shelf. So we just found something really exciting. These beauties right here. Ooh, baby. <laughs> these are Western. Um, I think it's Westlock knives. And we'll have Skylar put out a screenshot of the sold listing on what seems to be like the same thing. And it's pretty nice. It was crossed out, 275, best offer. But these are the boxes that I really haven't put much, uh, you know, merit to because we, we haven't seen them until now. Uh, but this one's kind of interesting. There's actually a lot of box stuff, some interesting stuff. 
you know, I go back and forth on if this is a good or a bad deal. I, I don't know. I Once the case knives sell through and we get all the top end stuff out of here, I think I'll kind of know. But this one's exciting. There's buck knife, um, a lot of other box stuff. So who knows there? But then there's just a lot of this, like rusty. Mm -hmm. Some of them are actually a good bit are rusty. Maybe I'd say 80% are have some form of, of rust. These. Overall, maybe half the knives have some some rust on them, and yeah. half don't. There's just lots of cool, in, just interesting things. They're all unique for sure. Yeah, like that one's got like silver plate or something on it. Yeah, and could be could be decent. We just don't know. Yeah, the only ones we really knew was the case knives. So this was a gamble, no doubt about it. At seventy five hundred dollars. Yeah, it's an educated buy, but was it a good one? <laughs> Will we be determined? <laughs> Quite literally. What'd you just say? <laughs> That's a pirate's knife. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at the case it's in. Sheath. <laughs> what? <laughs> but then look at it. It's so disappointing. It's all rusty and stuff. Uh-huh. Who knows? That could be a $1 knife or a $1 million knife. Yes, <laughs> we found it. So I keep telling Chase not to touch <laughs> this box. He cut his hand. There's a, it sticking there's a knife sticking, right here. sticking through. I just grabbed it by that again. I'm still like getting over like he has a cut up now. here. From, We're going to yeah, have to go get Chase shots. From, from two weeks ago, whenever we got <laughs> these. All right, but well, we're going to pack all these up. We're going to get these boxes inside. We're going to break them down for you a little more in detail, but not sure how in detail because... Maybe not done because at this point, they've probably seen a lot that's sold. Um, yeah. We do these videos out of order sometimes, but... Hopefully the case knives have done really well. Yes. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> All right, just for giggles, this box has, according to this, 109 knives in it. So roughly 100 knives, it's one of the smallest boxes. To <laughs> yeah. give you an idea of how much these things weigh, let's see. Oh, it just turned off, oh come God. on. <laughs> All right, hold on. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> oh, of course I'm gonna record. Yeah, almost 20, 20 pounds. Yeah, 18.6. So, so this, Little yeah. guy. Like, so when you were carrying two, I think your guess was 40 pounds? Yeah, I was like, it's probably 40, 45 pounds. That one's not even... <laughs> but the other one had 150 knives, and that one has 100 knives. Yeah, nine. like, yeah, we, we left that one out there. Um, but, like, these are no joke, just big. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, it's a lot of I don't know what else to say. Sorry for the disc cleaner. This one had opened itself up, and inside was a note. I don't know if it belongs to it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let's look I that up. Value 300, so... <laughs> let's see about it. that. It's at least worth investigating. <laughs> Tree Brand Classic. There were a lot that had values like that from the case knives, but they were like, if it said 900, that meant it's probably more like 200. Yeah. So we'll see. All right, so read, read that out for me. What is Tree it? Tree Brand Classic. Tree Brand... Tree Brand Boker Knives. Yep. Free brand Boker Knives. I mean, it definitely looks nice. Free brand classic Boker Knives. It's not like a multi-tool. That's not nothing. It looks like I mean, this. The, the brand overall. 2000. Oh, hey. It's a knife. That's a knife. Is it this curved one? Yeah. Ours is in good shape, too. It's got the box, too. Compared so it's probably to at least $84. That was on bid. Since so. ours has the box. On a dollar knife? So again, yeah, that holds kind of true. What, like a third of whatever. Yeah, is maybe, marked. maybe. That's good though. That's good to find knives like that in this random box here. So there's a whole lot to case knives, and Skylar can link in the description a site that we found that explains like basically like what these numbers mean. Each number means something on the blade. Those letters mean something. Yeah, the, the first number represents what the handle's made out of. The second number represents how many blades it has. Then the anything after that indicates it's like style and it's item All right, so number. let's test it. 62031, let me know what that means. So that means it has two blades. We know the second number two. Okay, two so blades. that means it's um, jigged bone or jigged synthetic or jigged laminate. So this is the jig pattern, yep. Mm -hmm. And so it's either made out of bone. It looks like it's probably more of a laminate, so that's right. Mm -hmm. And then the, what's the next number? Uh, 031. Six two zero three one. Six two. So there must be two blades on it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm finding stuff near it, but like you, just the just the first two things, like style number, that probably helps. doesn't matter. To, yeah, just the. I mean, obviously we can count the blades, but to know roughly what style and then K 
case XX. And then the, the, the dots. Three, the dots. three dots means it's from 1977, I think, because 10 dots was 1970, and then each year it subtracted one dot. So there you go. 1977, case, jigged, pocket knife, 62031. All right, eight knife sales this Monday. Eight of the auctions ended. Uh, this was the big one, fluorescent pink lady case knife, $203 for the pocket knife, which is amazing. Uh, this one, we knew would be good. That sold for $135, and shipping is on top of all of these. Uh, this one went for like $68. Bucks. That was like a buy it now. And then we've got five others all in the box here, and they sold for like $40 to $60, somewhere in that range on most of them. All in all, it was eight sales. For 571 bucks and we're mm -hmm. gonna see what that average is out to oh Sweet. yeah so it's a 71 dollar average sale obviously skewed by the top two sales that's good because the goal is kind of to average like 40 bucks yeah and the, per the minimum knife. was i think 40 so yeah and that was to break even there was about there was about 200 case and i think remington so maybe about 160 case knives so we do kind of need to be in that 40 dollar range with remingtons and cases in order to get all of the money back. We've listed about 70 of them, so you're gonna see a bunch more sales right after this clip. Six more knife sales at auction. 117.50 on this one. 62.58, 77, 48. I was actually surprised that one went so low because it is out of 2,500 limited. And then the big, the biggest sale so far, 231.01 and 66.03. And on those six knives, it was $601 total. So an average of a hundred bucks a knife. Hopefully we can keep up that average. And this knife sold for $166 for an average of $166. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> So, Skylar, these knives are pretty darn old. <laughs> and still very sharp. I already cut myself once yeah, how are your today. fingers doing? <laughs> Not good. Some of them are, like, super, super wedged in there, and you have to pry them out. But I know this is paper, but, like, these things oh are, like, gosh. like, like, <laughs> like, ra literally says razor edge, and it's maintained <laughs> its sharpness pretty well, I would say. That's impressive. Still chugging away. Ten more knives have sold. These ones finished on auction last night. And they did okay. I'll break it down for you guys. So this was the only buy it now. This is a shark tooth knife sold for $90. This one sold for $34. And this one for $53 to the same buyer. This one went for $81. And this was one of the really cool blue swirly ones that I thought would at least break $100. So that was a little disappointing. Uh, th these two went to the same buyer. One for $48. One for $78. This was a collector's club knife, went for 67. I thought that one would definitely break the $100 mark. So that was a bit of a disappointment, but still good at 67. And then $48, $36, and $52. That's uh, 588 bucks for an average of $58 a knife. So the average up to this point is still strong, right? But the thing is, we've really only sold box knives, the ones that I kind of cherry picked that I thought would be the best. And now, we're sitting on that stack right there, about 30 or 40 like loose case knives. And the goal is to keep that $40 average, which we're above right now, but it's not looking good. Uh, especially since we have how many more boxes in the garage of just loose random. Oh yeah, those. Stuff. I mean those ones, who the heck knows? Yeah. But I was hoping to break even on case knives because there's about 200 of them, but yeah. we got to keep that $40 average, we'll see. Um, I got uh, 10 or 11 more ending tomorrow, so we'll see how those do, and then we'll kind of break down the average of knives sold up to this point after tomorrow's sales. And these ones just sold for 130 together, so 65 a piece average on those. Hey guys, it is the same morning that you're seeing this video, just a few hours before, and the last batch of knives that will sell before the video have sold. Um, so 15 knives, two of which I actually shipped yesterday, but didn't tell you guys about, sold for $1,064. The top two knives were 150 and 154, and then a couple for 80. The lowest was 20, but most of them were at least $50. And so 1,064 knives, 15 of them, the average is $71. So that was a great batch. And hopefully, Skylar will have uh, edited up to this point our current total of sales, our current average, 
and uh, maybe we can project out how this thing is gonna do. All right, we're gonna break down all of the numbers right now. So a lot of numbers coming at you. We've sold 46 knives so far for $3,401, which is actually an average of 74 bucks a knife. So that's a great start. Obviously I've cherry picked and sold nice stuff first, um, but that is after fees, $2,900 which is 38% of the original investment of 7,500. So we're 38% of the way there, but we've only sold 3% of the knives. So obviously it's very front loaded, but that's a good, good start. And I think we're gonna do okay. We've got, you know, about 150 more case in Remington knives. And it really looks like we'll, we'll probably break even, even if we start to average lower to 30 to 40 on the next ones, the goal is to average 40 on the first 200, and then we're good to go. So I think it's gonna pan out okay, especially if we can get 20 to $40 on some of the random knives, like this Red Baron. I mean, it's not Case or Remington, but it's cool. And this one actually will probably be like 150 bucks. Yeah, that is a very clean knife. Yeah, so the more stuff we have like that, the better this deal will pan out. And seeing the, these numbers. It's a little more promising. I, I'm feeling a little bit better, but we still have a lot of work to do, so. Yeah, we'll how, see. How long do you think it'll be before we make our money back? Uh, maybe like another month. Jeez. I mean, it depends on how, like what we list. Yeah. If we list 11 knives a day, then two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, uh, let us know if you guys want to see a part two. And if we get some comments, uh, we're literally filming this the same morning. You can see this <laughs> yeah, video. Yeah, you will see. This comes so, out in three hours. <laughs> yeah, so uh, please let us know because we can film some more for the Caterpie crew and we'll, we can get a full breakdown of how this goes because obviously we're curious. And if you're curious, we'll make a part two. But thank you. Hit the like button and we'll see you guys next time. Bartle do.